everyone, it's Julia. Back, welcome back to my channel. I have another thrifted item here. These are large pillow shams, but I really love the color. Um, it has like an envelope backing to it and it's already quilted. And I also really like the back backing fabric. So I'm gonna be using that as well. And I'm gonna be Nate making some fall coasters out of one of these. And I'll probably save the other one for a bag or something. And I'm very inspired by this channel. Um, and I'll link it down below. It's Zazu's Art Stitch, Stitch Art Channel. I mean, yeah, it's just a wonderful channel. I hope you check her out. Um, but I cut away the border there and I cut approximately a 12 by 12 piece here. Now she just lays scraps of fabric on the background and this is going to just add some interest to the background. Um, just pinning these into place. I'm gonna be making four coasters, so eventually this will all be cut down, but this again is just working into a larger piece here and just forming another interest to the background. You wanna have your bobbin, bobbin up. You don't wanna have a nest of thread on the back, of this back side of this. I am going through my backing layer too, so I do have a sandwich made here. And I am just free motioning a design on this. Just a random kind of design. I will be um, cutting some, some portions out of it. And then on to the other piece, two pieces too. Again, just doing a just a swirly kind of design. And now she cuts the fabric away using just a sharp scissor. And just, um, she cuts approximately a, so that a, an eighth of an inch or three eighths of an inch is still showing. I'm um, being careful not to cut through any of your stitching. And then also cutting away some of the inside pieces too, so you exposes that background. Now I'm gonna take it back to my sewing machine and I don't show this, but I do a loop, just a loopy, you can see it there, loopy free motion stitch on the background. Now I went to nature and I just got a couple leaves um, and I want, I traced them. I didn't freehand this, but I did look at the leaf to get the veins right. I'm using my um, water soluble stabilizer and I will link that down below for you. This is the way that I just, it's easy way for me to get my design onto my fabric. I traced two, two of them, or two of each. So I've got two of them and I'm gonna be putting them, just kind of laying them how I'm gonna put them on my fabric here. So each of these corners get a leaf. And then I put just some random more scraps of fabric in different colors underneath those, um, that stabilizer. Putting one pin in each, just to hold it into place. And then I'm going back to my sewing machine and I am just right on the line as close as I can get free motion stitching these. And I do go over each of the leaves twice. She just wings this. She does not um, in the video. I hope you watch her channel, but she doesn't use the stabilizer. She just uses a lot of chalk, um, which is, and she's very, very good at, at just her artistic a free motion she just kind of wings it and I'm not there yet I that's the reason why I really like the stabilizer just so I can see my design a little better now I'm just taking the larger pieces of this uh, off I don't not even scraping any of that inside out or removing any of that because this will be washed and the, that all of that stabilizer will dissolve in the wash Back to trimming, just again trimming about an eighth of an inch, to three, eight, three sixteenths of an inch away. And 
now this whole thing gets thrown into the washing machine and you can see it there it's all washed the frays are going and it just has that quilted look it's just yummy I'm trimming away any little pieces that are hanging that I don't want um, your lint roller is your friend here too you just I, as I trim it I just take my lint roller and I roll it just to remove any of that trimming the edges as well and then cutting this just cutting right down the middle just forming my four coasters I don't measure this they're a little off but I kind of like that wonky look and the approximately four inches by four inches And now to form this raw edge binding that I just love this technique. I have another piece of green fabric. So the right side is up and I'm just centering my, my coaster over the top. And I like a little bit of that um, backing to show or that binding to show. Um, just so I'm making sure I catch it. And it's stitching around the edge and I do stitch that twice really close to the edge. And then, then I can trim off that, that backing or that binding kind of cleaning up the corners a little bit and then I'm slicing this and I'm cutting out a square leaving about about an inch all the way around and that I don't waste that square that'll go right into my scrap bin um, and then poking out those corners just using a paintbrush handle to get those corners poked out and then ironing or pressing from the back side she uses a lot of steam and presses from the back so you, she does you don't smoosh those that um, fuzzy or that raw edge look in the front and then back to my sewing machine and I'm again using free motion but you you can just use a straight stitch for this as well but I would give it a little of a, of a wave I am doing a, a, a wave and I will go over this twice and the second time around, I'm not concerned about getting on the, the same line. I just kind of want a, a wonky wave. Here's what it looks like. And then it's back to trimming this away. And here's the finished coaster. I just really love the technique. I hope you watch your channel too. Um, thanks so much, everybody. I hope you have a creative, creative week. Bye for now.